Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Erica here. So today's video is actually going to be another haul, but this time a skincare haul. Now, most of these products that I have, I'll just show you. Got this big box of stuff here from David Jones, a department store over here in Australia, if you're not watching from Australia. Uh, most of this stuff is brand new from Chanel and I've got one other product that's uh, not Chanel it's, that's actually from Sicily but otherwise majority of it is Chanel. Anyway, I hope you like this video and if you do please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let's get started. Okay, so the first things I've got today are from Chanel. Now they've actually released some new uh, products to their cleansing line and I think they released them all at the same time because I was actually looking at Instagram the other day and this is when I spotted them. Uh, I'll tag the account below that I found them on. I think it was Love for Skincare. But anyway, she basically posted a photo of all three products um, that have been launched by Chanel recently. Um, and they actually say new as well on the Chanel.com website too. So um, I just double checked there to clarify that they were in fact new and they were, which is really exciting because um, I don't often see um, new Chanel cleansers um, really on the market that uh, drop. So this is really, really cool. Um, I'm going to start with, I've got three products here which they released all together. So I've got the Le Gel, um, which is obviously a cleansing gel. And then they released a Le Mask, so a vitamin enriched um, mask. Uh, so it's a clay mask. And then I've got uh, Le Gourmage, which uh, I think in French means exfoliate or to clean or to erase. So um, that's exfoliate in French. Um, and that's an exfoliating gel as well. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to open each of them to show you what they look like. Um, so let's start first with the Le Gel. So that's the bottle there. So it's like a green, um, tinted green gel colour and then it's actually got a, um, a pump as well. Um, I haven't actually played with the consistency or the texture um, or had a look at the smell yet myself if it has a, a smell. Um, usually Chanel cleansers are pretty tame and don't have a lot of fragrance in them. So that's still got a very ever so slight sort of florally fragrance to it um, not very strong at all which is good if you have um, sensitive skin like like I do I've got quite um, dry flaky cheeks um, and my skin reacts to uh, alcohol as well so I don't do great with um, any toners that have alcohol in so it doesn't actually say that you um, need to apply this cleanser with, um, you know, onto a wet face, which is actually um, really good because I prefer a cleanser that I can just apply to dry skin at the end of the, of the day if I'm exhausted. Um, the back of the bottle actually says as well, um, cleansing gel, the fresh texture transforms into an invigorating foam to purify and reduce shine. Skin is refreshed and thoroughly clean. Again, shape the foam and apply it onto skin, rinse off. So um, yeah, I'll be applying that one um, later on. To okay, so next up I have the Le Mask from Chanel. This is a vitamin clay mask, it says. Um, the box says a creamy mask with purifying French clay and vitamin C and E derivatives deeply purifies without drying out skin. The complexion appears balanced, refined and brighter. Use two minutes daily on dry skin for makeup prep or 10 minutes to three, two to three times a week for a thorough cleanse rinse off. So it's interesting that it actually says um, it's got it's purifying French clay without drying out the skin because often a lot of clay masks can be quite drying. That's just how clay behaves. It it sort of sucks everything to the surface of your skin um, and therefore can can dry it out. So um, I'll have a look at the consistency of it too. So um, that's what the bottle looks like. It's just like a squeezy uh, tube. And then take the stopper off. 
Okay, so it's actually like a sort of a orangey, it's got a, a color. It's like an orangey um, sort of, you know, shade. Um, it feels like a cream, it's very soft. Um, and I'm just rubbing it into my hand now. And I can see it starting to lather as well. So it looks like it might be quite lathery. That's the uh, Le Masque Vitamin Clay Mask from Chanel. Okay, so next up I have the Le Gourmage um, Exfoliating Gel from Chanel. So this one is also newly dropped as well uh, onto their website. Um, let's open it up and take a look. So it is, it's this sort of clear squeezy tube. Um, the tube says uh, exfoliating gel with jojoba beads. Skin appears smoother, brighter, with a diminished look of pores. Use two to three times a week on dry or wet skin. Rinse off. So again, you can use it straight on, well, cleanse the skin, because of course you would cleanse your skin before you um, put it on a, a mask or, or tone or moisturize. Same thing for, for this, you cleanse your skin and then um, apply it to dry skin once your face is dry. Um, let's have a look at the consistency of this, because I'm curious what it looks like. Okay, so it's it's got um, some sort of beads in it. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. There's some sort of tiny um, orange beads in it. They don't feel very rough or very, um, like some of them, some exfoliators can have beads that are quite rough um, and quite big, but this one, they're actually, they're quite tiny and they feel quite soft. So I wouldn't think it would be a really harsh exfoliator if that's what you were after. Um, I'm just rubbing it into my hand and it's not lathering really at all um, and gradually the beads are kind of disintegrating a bit. So that's rubbed into my hand now. Um, I forgot to read you what's on the back of the box. So this says uh, exfoliating gel with jojoba beads and mineral rich seawater. Gently removes impurities and dead skin for a smoother, brighter appearance with a diminished look of pores. Use two to three times a week on dry or wet skin, rinse off. So that was the uh, Le Gommage Exfoliating Gel from Chanel. Next up I have the um, Chanel Hydro Beauty Camellia Repair Mask. This was also newly dropped on the Chanel.com uh, website. Um, so this says multi-use hydrating comforting mask and I'll just read the back of the box as well so hydrating comforting mask hydrating comforting face mask formulated with white camellia wax to help lock in moisture and a pan panthenol I'm not sure what panthenol is Oh, so it says here a moisturizing ingredient that protects the skin the ultra rich texture pr provides instant comfort while protecting the skin barrier leave on formula so that's actually pretty cool that you don't actually have to wash off this mask you can just um apply it to your face before bed sleep with it um and then if you really wanted to i guess you could take it off in the morning or just leave it how it is so i'll take it out of the box and show you what it looks like so it comes in their um their jar so it's got like a sort of a matte um tint to it um on the outside and then on the inside, it's just got the um, covering there. And I'll just open this as well, because I just want to have a smell of it. So take that thing off there. It looks very thick and rich um, in the jar already. And it has that typical um, Chanel Hydra Beauty smell, which is very soft, florally, um, but it does, it is, there is a, a, a hint of fragrance there. It's not terribly strong, um, but it does smell like um, the rest of their Hydra Beauty line, basically, because obviously um, it is part of that line, essentially. So the texture, actually, it's quite, um, yeah, it's, it's very soft, very creamy. Um, it's harder than I thought it would be in the jar as well. Um, so just looks like a, a white, a white cream basically. 
Okay, so that was all the things I have that are newly dropped. Next up from Chanel, I actually purchased the uh, Letonic uh, Invigorating Toner, Anti-Pollution Invigorating Toner. Um, the back of the box says toning water featuring depolluting blue microalgae and fortifying marine salicornia extract. The alcohol-free formula ideally revives the complexion in the morning and removes the last traces of makeup at night. Comforted and refreshed, skin is invigorated, applied gently with a cotton pad. So it's um, alcohol free, which I always make sure my toners are. Uh, as I've mentioned before, my skin is incredibly uh, dry and quite sensitive and my cheeks just go red as soon as I get um, anything with a, the, a, an alcohol in it. Um, I find it tends to sting my skin as well in extreme cases too. So um, that's a must for me, an alcohol free toner. So that's what the bottle looks like. So again, it's got like a blue green um, tint to it. Um, and then it is, it's actually a screw top. So I won't undo that one because obviously it's pretty liquid, um, but that's it there. And then the back of the bottle says, uh, again, alcohol-free toning water ideally revives the complexion in the morning and removes the last traces of makeup at night. Comforted and refreshed skin is invigorated. Um, so that's that one. And then the last thing I have from Chanel is the uh, Hydra Beauty Camellia Water Cream. Um, it's not actually, I think it's not actually brand new, unlike the other products I have today. I think it's been around for a little, um, longer. Um, but yes, I wanted to try that out anyway and see, um, how that went. So I'll show you the packaging and what it looks like. So it comes in a, um, bottle like that. And then it's like a, a pump, which is really great. I love pumps. And the back of the bottle just says, uh, Radiance Revealing Fluid Moisturizer with Camellia Water. Skin is replenished, even toned, beautifully radiant and ready for makeup. And then I think the back of the box is the same pretty much. Um, yeah, it, it pretty much says the same thing in this case. Um, Radiance Revealing Fluid Moisturizer with Camellia Water. The texture is fresh and comforting without leaving a residue. Skin is replenished, even toned, beautifully radiant and ready for makeup. So even though it is a moisturizer, Chanel actually recommends obviously to use it under your makeup as a base. So I guess it's not, not a primer technically. It's, I think they are still calling it a, a moisturizer. Um, but obviously it sounds like you could use it um, just under makeup too. I'll show you the texture of it. So it's just like a, again, a white cream. Um, has that, that key Hydra Beauty um, smell, which the entire line has. And lastly from Chanel, I actually have the um, not brand new. I'm not actually sure when this launched um, either, so I might just do a quick Google search to see if I can find out, but I, I don't believe this is technically new. Anyway, it's the Le Lift um, Flash Eye Revitalizer, um, and it's basically, it has a, um, just show you, the box is lovely by the way, it came in this beautiful box, um, so it just sort of looks like that in the box. So that's the um, serum there. The, the, I think it's a roller ball. And then you get 10, two, um, 10 packs of two eye patches um, as well with it. But because it is quite pricey for um, the 10 eye patches, but I guess you're also getting the eye serum as well, which I believe goes under or is, a, is, like, is like a primer to put on before you put on the eye patch. So, so I'll just read the back of the box as well. So it says here, firming and wrinkle correction action, anti-fatigue and radiance, revitalizing patches for 10 applications. So what I liked about it was it is anti-aging um, and I'm almost 30 this year. So getting to a point where I need to start looking at, um, you know, gradually um, anti-aging skincare. 
but actually Chanel makes a big point about this being depuffing. Um, and again, if you've got sort of, you know, dark under eyes, really sort of lifting them and brightening them as well, which I really wanted to um, give. So that's why I wanted to try that. Um, but yeah, that was the Le Lift uh, Flash Eye Revitalizer. Um, firming anti-wrinkle eye patches and eye serum. Okay, so lastly, I have something from Sisley. Now, this is the first ever thing I've bought from them. I don't even own any of their makeup um, or their skincare, of course. So this is really exciting for me because um, they're such a bougie brand. Um, so what I've got here is the here is the Sisley Velvet Sleeping Mask with Saffron Flowers. Um, so it just says SOS Comfort Intense Repair Mask. Uh, it's 60 mil, so it's quite small um, considering, you know, for example, this Chanel mask that just dropped is um, 75 mil. So you can see the difference there. Um, the back of the box says the nourishing mask supports dry or occasionally dehydrated skin in the repair process. Enveloping the skin in softness, it instantly smooths and provides necessary nutrition and hydration to particularly vulnerable skin. Used as a sleeping mask, it optimizes the nocturnal repair of the skin. Upon awakening, the skin has a recovered, regenerated um, oh, sorry, upon awakening, the skin it has recovered and regenerated. Um, the skin is more resistant, softer, and more radiant. Apply one to two times a week as an SOS mask or immediately, um, oh, sorry, apply one to two times a week as an SOS mask. It immediately calms irritations and relieves sensations of discomfort. The soothed skin is once again smooth, soft, and supple. So they really emphasize that obviously it is for, you know, sensitive skin or skin prone to, you know, um, reacting to various products that you might have, you know, tried um, and maybe they didn't go so well with your skin. So, because um, my skin already is very sensitive and dry, um, you know, and even occasionally um, quite, quite tight and itchy. And I often get um, dry patches and dry flaky skin on my um, cheeks as well. So I think that, that'll be really good for me to um, give a go. It's really quite pricey of course Sisley um, is so I do expect it to do a you know brilliant job of repairing and nourishing my um, dry skin so we'll uh, hopefully that lives up to the hype so I'll just show you what it looks like quickly um, that's the bottle there and then it's got like a sort of a, a blue um, writing um, on the front of it. And it's just like a sort of squeezy tube again um, for that one too. So that was the Sisley Velvet Sleeping Mask with Saffron Flowers. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.